the idea behind the Cherish project is to, um, we're looking at HoloLenses and augmented reality and deciding whether or not they're going to be useful in education. Today we're working with some school kids um, with some HoloLenses, which is an augmented reality headset. And what we want to know is if they could be useful in education. So we're seeing if they've got any ideas of how they would like to use them in school. We're unsure how these can actually be used in education. Once they had an idea of how these things work, then they sat down and thought of some typical lessons that they have in school. And then they're looking at now where in those lessons could we actually use this technology. So the problem with these kind of new technologies is that you end up getting lots of people who are trying to sell them to schools. They just want to sell you a thing because the thing is expensive and they'll make lots of money. And the question we're trying to ask, is there actually any use for them? And the best way to do that is to start with the people who are actually going to use them and say, well, is this worthwhile? And that's the idea behind today. We're doing lots of work with different groups. So we've worked with university students and with students in schools and also lecturers and teachers. And we want to know, is there any avenue we can go down, apply for some extra money to really get someone to come and do this full time and do this like every week rather than these one-off pilots that's currently being funded by Cherish. This is part of a much bigger project where we're developing a board game and we're going to set up a series of workshops for that. When we first applied for the money, we wanted to use the technology as part of it, but we realised we were going about it the wrong way, which we were coming up with a solution to a problem that didn't necessarily exist. So if there's any ideas that come up from today and other workshops like this, then we can run it more frequently.